Hey guys, this is Tarot with Kittens, Weights and Tarot, and today I'm doing another uh, deck collection or deck grouping, I guess, <laughs> for you guys. Uh, so the decks that I have here, I consider like my cute decks. Um, I had many decks that I think are sweet, um, but my criteria for cute deck was if I don't look at it and say, oh, <laughs> then it's not a cute deck. So I had some that were sweet and yes, some had lots of like cute colors and pastels, but they didn't really give me that oh factor. So, uh, those decks that I have, uh, put aside here do, uh, and the reason I do these like fun, like kind of you know, looking at groups of decks is because sometimes uh, people watch these and they um, like forget that they have certain decks or like, oh, I should bust that deck out again. Or if you're like me, you're just a really visual person and I just enjoy looking at all different sorts of, you know, art and things like that. So I don't necessarily want to like buy every deck that's out there um, because, you know, then uh, you're just uh, hoarding. But <laughs> um, I... You know, the decks I have, I work with all of them. I don't have any that uh, sit around and collect dust. You know, I don't, I don't like that in my home. Anything that's collecting dust, you know, and I'm not like working with using, uh, like I always just pass along. Um, but yeah, you know, so I, I just like looking at these types of videos and people told me they like looking at my grouping. So today, uh, this group of cute decks was a suggestion from one of my wonderful subscribers. I asked you guys, what do you want to see? Some people said, I want to see your cute decks. Some people said, I want to see your vintagey decks, or I want to see your more dark or shadow work type decks. Uh, so, you know, I've made a list of, um, other groupings you know, to show in the future. But let's go ahead and get started with the very first cute deck. And that is the Cat Row Cards uh, with Pookie the Cat. And I've done a review, an actual like in-depth review of I think almost all of these cards that you'll see. So if you're interested in seeing in like an actual review, um, then you may want to go over to my playlist that says deck reviews and just kind of go through there. So, uh, you know, I'm just I'm not going to obviously show all the cards because we'll be here forever. I think I have like 18 decks here, so we're just going to go quickly. But yeah, I mean, again, it has that oh factor and I am a glutton for uh, kitten decks. So <laughs> this was a no brainer. Um, I think I got this in a trade originally, um, but you know, I just I really like this and I ended up getting like another deck that I think you guys will see. Um, from this creator actually i am using i am using her other deck now that i think about it for my card of the day uh i left it in the other room i might have to go grab it because <laughs> that is a cute deck <laughs> um okay so let's put this off to the side and go into our other one and these are the chakra girls spirit cards and this was created by uh, somebody local here in San Diego. Uh, the creator actually lives in Encinitas, uh, which is not terribly far from me, but I was in Encinitas um, on Monday. Yes, on Monday. But yeah, this has that aww factor. <laughs> so also um, these decks that I'm going through uh, with you guys, if, you know, I, I think also these would be like good inspiration or ideas for those of you that have kids. Um, and many of you, I, I just kind of like see every now and then people are like, what decks would be best for like children? Um, you know, getting them into oracles or tarot and stuff like that. So, you know, hopefully this gives you guys some idea. The Playful Heart Tarot by Kitten Chops. This was a no brainer because everything that Kitten Chops puts out is cute. Like, her Instagram, if you've seen it, it's nothing but like hearts and kittens and cherries and rainbows. And, you know, like, I'm pretty sure that's what her soul looks like. It's just all like everything cute. <laughs> um, you know, so of course I had to grab her deck. Um, it's just, oh, even, even like that card is cute. <laughs> um, yeah. Just, I, I love her whimsy. I love her world. It's, I love her characters. Oh my 
my goodness. They're so adorbs. Ooh, that's like me right now, actually. So yeah, that is the uh, Playful Heart Tarot. Um, I don't know if I, oops, this one got stuck in there. I don't know if I mentioned, um, the creators, you know, of the other decks. So, oh, so if you guys didn't see for the Shocker Girls, that was, uh, Sarah Carly Mentlick, you know, for the creator of that one. Um, I always want to make sure that I give, you know, credit to these people that create these decks. Um, and then, okay, for the Pookie the Cat, it's, uh, Maria Van Bruggen. Yeah. So, you know, if you want to go check that out. Okay. Sorry. Just had to go back, you know, because <laughs> I don't want to just show off somebody's deck and be like, oh, I don't know who this is from. Um, cause rude. Okay. So obviously another Pookie deck. So the person that I just mentioned, Maria Van Bruggen, uh, also this one, um, these are the Pookie cat runes. And I also got this in a trade also has that awe factor. So, you know, if you're looking to work with runes, but, um, you're more of a visual person, this might be that, uh, missing link <laughs> to help you make the bridge between, uh, purely visual to, um, more symbolic. Plus it's got a cute kitty cat. I mean, and it's little hedgehog friend. How cute is that? It's a fun way to learn the runes. Okay. All right. Moving along. Moving along. Um, the kawaii tarot. Uh, I think I have the box around here somewhere because I don't know if the author is in this little bag. Okay. You know what? Let me go grab the box so that I can find the author of the Kawaii Tarot. So this is the Kawaii Tarot box. This is by Diana Lopez, as you can see. Okay. Just making sure credit is out there. <laughs> okay. The Kawaii Tarot, very simplistic, but also very cute. Very kawaii. <laughs> um, pip deck, yes. But, um, they kind of find a way to, you know, still incorporate the, the Rider Waite Smith into it. Yeah. But cute colors, cute illustrations. I know it's very minimal. Um, but that's kind of how I like my life. I like my life minimal anyway. So, <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Uh, let's move on then. Let's put these back in there we go. The backs are so cute, by the way. I mean, like, I'm going to say that a lot because guess what? We're doing a grouping of cute decks. Yay! Just to have a little fun and whimsy in our day. All right. How could I leave out my Hello Kitty? And these are just Hello Kitty playing cards. And I got these on Amazon. They were really cheap. Um, I don't even think I, I know they're by because uh, it's in Japanese but hey if you can read Japanese there you go <laughs> um, those are the backs and I have loved Hello Kitty since I was like two years old I used to have like Hello Kitty sunglasses Hello Kitty sandals Hello Kitty toothbrush um, and I'm still Hello Kitty you know um, I have a lot of plushies and uh, overalls with Hello Kitty on it. I don't care. Like Hello Kitty is for all ages. You know what? She doesn't discriminate. She's about all ages. She's about all cultures. She's about all species. You know, Hello Kitty is, Hello Kitty should be the world card in a deck. I'm just saying, you know, she brings the world together. She's cute. And I like how Senria try to play it off and be like, no, she's actually a little girl because they're like, um, why does Hello Kitty have a pet cat? Like, why does the cat have a pet cat? <laughs> Is that like Slave Kitty? And they're like, um, no. <laughs> uh, she, uh, is a little girl and that's like her pet cat. We're like, okay, that little girl has a tail. Anyway, here we have the Magic Neko deck 
and this is also super cute um oh here we go this is by stacia burrington there you go all righty so let's dive into these cute cards there's your backings you know what i should just do like a grouping of my cat decks i think some of you guys would enjoy that oh is that upside down miss Guzzi? i have a picture of wally doing this actually this morning my boyfriend took a picture of wally sleeping with me and that was how he was laying out of the covers and it's funny because it's a siamese I do associate Loki with bumblebees. Oh, so yes, there is the magic Neko deck or Nico, Neko, Nico, but also super cute. And moving on to the White Fox Oracle, and this is by Sabine Kazasis. Kazasis. And I back this on Kickstarter, actually. Very happy to back Indie Deck creators. As you guys know, I am also an Indie Deck creator myself. So I have an appreciation for the process and all the hard work that goes into making decks. Beautiful edging, by the way. Um, but this one I would also describe as super kawaii. Cute colors, just everything has a face, basically. Like that umbrella, how cute is that? oh it's so cute oh I'm in like cuteness overload because I normally don't see like all of my cute decks together so <sighs> we're just having a moment <laughs> um but you know like I said in if any of these decks catch your eye and you're like oh actually you know um I want to take a closer look I said that I I've done a review of, I'm pretty sure I've done a review of every deck here. Okay, the Halloween Tarot. This brings me back to my childhood. Um, I had a, um, my Halloween bag that my mother sewed for me, uh, you know, my trick-or-treat bag. The, it's like this. <laughs> this is like my childhood. I, I used to get into the, like the Halloween stuff year round and I'd run around with my, my vampire cape or my witch's hat or wigs, you know. Um, I'd want to use like my Halloween bag all the time. It also glowed in the dark. It was like haunted house and had all HUD characters just like this. So, you know, happy times in my childhood so cute i know i've done a review of this one and i was just gushing over it because not only is it cute but i have the smaller size there is a actual like tarot size like standard tarot size but if you've been watching my channel you know that i adore decks that are either comically small or comically large all right so this deck actually you can get for free on the interwebs uh it's like a like a pdf images that you guys can download for the Lisa Frank tarot. It's a majors only thing, but you can like print it off at home or you can print it, you know, on one of those websites. Uh, I used makeplaincards.com. Uh, and this is very nineties. Actually, this is kind of like what I'm wearing right now. I mean, I know you guys can't see me, but I have the truth is out there bracelet. I have my alien earrings on. I have like my, I want to believe t-shirt on right now. I'm all about the X-Files right now. So this, this reminds me of like the 90s <laughs> in high school, you know. <laughs> but also you look at it and you're like, oh, look at these sweet Lisa Frank characters. I wish it was a full tarot deck, but you know, I do use majors only uh, for readings. I'll just like use uh, tarot decks with it or oracle decks. Um, but never really just on its own, unless I'm like on purpose, I guess, trying to do that. But 
normally I'll just pair majors only with other cards. So there you go, Lisa Frank Tarot free on the interwebs. Moving right along to the Pushy and the Cat Tarot deck, also free on the interwebs. Uh, just type in Pushy and the Cat Tarot free. Um, you should be able to find the PDF in Google um, of all the images. Um, I had to kind of search around for like a backing. So I like kind of pieced this deck together. Um, and it wasn't like perfect, obviously, but I don't care. It's free, like, you know, beggars can't be choosers. And Pusheen is just cute. Like, Pusheen actually, to me, looks like Loki. Although, sometimes we say Stormy is Loki, but... <laughs> Pusheen is Loki. Oh, Pusheen! Um, just had to take a cuteness break, like, excuse me. Okay, okay, back, back to not having a serious video. Okay. Even the devil is cute. Like, aww. <laughs> and the strength card, of course. Okay, so, you know, hey, fun deck, especially because it's a freebie deck. All right down to a single pile over here the vivid soul oracle is one that i got on etsy and let's see this is created by jessica rasmussen all right this one just has such a uh sweet energy to it like i love the colors and the keywords like it just Oh, I'm like, oh, it's like, this could be borderline just part of like my sweet decks, but this is also like cute to me too. Because like I said, I have a lot of sweet decks. I also have a lot of really dark decks. You know, I think I have a pretty good balance in all of my decks, but right now I'm just showing you the cutesy stuff. There we go. And I know I've done a review of that deck, so you know, if any cards you would like to see in more detail, you can always check out my playlist. All right, the Ice Cream Oracle. Uh, I follow them on Instagram. Just go to icecreamoracle.com and uh, yeah, see all kinds of goodness. Or you can just go to the uh, at Ice Cream Oracle on um Instagram, you'll be able to see the creators. So this just makes me hungry, actually. You know, I just really want some ice cream after I use this deck, so I have to be very careful. But I love using this deck for chakra work because of the colors. Um, and anybody I do a reading for using this deck, because I'll use it in conjunction with tarot cards, they're usually just really hungry and they usually just want some ice cream after the reading. They're like, Thanks for the reading. It was so insightful. P.S. I'm off to go pick up some, you know, Ben and Jerry's. I'm like, okay, cool. Cool beans. <laughs> um, but this one's pretty cool because it has, um, it has your like ice cream name. And then you have some like keywords down at the bottom, which is pretty nice. So anyway, okay, next we have the Delos Tarot. I've always thought this one was cute. Um, and now that I, I have it out again, I'm like, you know, I want to use it again because I haven't used it in a little while. I mean, not forever, but like a little while. And it's such a cute size, too. I know and this one you can also get in like normal tarot size. But, aww. <laughs> Look at these cute little people or whatever they are. And they're cute little animals. This one I would also say is very kawaii. So adorable. That one is like kind of sad, but adorable at the same time. It's kind of a weird juxtaposition there. Uh, poor little cute heads strewn all about. And this one having little gnome heads. That's just so cute.
I remember back in the day, I used to read with this one a lot. And the fact that they're still in good shape is a testament to its cardstock. <laughs> okay, um, let's see, who made the Delos Tarot, just so I can... Oh, here we go. Down at the bottom. Manufactured by Lam Lam. There you go. Okay. We are down to the last four decks, people. And, I mean, the Happy Tarot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And I love reading with this one and people appreciate it because it's it's very deceptive and other people who have this deck have said the same thing yes it's very saccharine sweet like you almost get a toothache using all using this deck but um it's like a heavy hitter actually like it tells you stuff in a way where it's like it slaps you but then it smiles and you're like oh <laughs> Thanks for slapping me upside the head, but oh, so cute. <laughs> so I, I've always like maybe shied away from this deck a little bit because sometimes it hits a little too hard with their happy little smiling faces. And I'm like, whoa, like simmer down now. Mm, so cute. So cute. Look at this little guy. Oh. Okay, and let's see, who created the Happy Tarot? Let me check real quick as I put these cards back inside. Does it say, oh, aha, it says on the box, Serena Ficha. There we go, okay. Then we have the Affirmator's Tarot. Uh, so yeah, this one's just adorable as well. Let me uh, forget how to open this one. Oh, there we go. It's the side open. And does this have an author on the outside? <laughs> this one's by Knock Knock Stuff. But I know it's got to have a... Maybe it's in the guidebook. Who the creator is. Okay, I know it's by Knock Knock. Okay, oh, there we go. There's your author, Susie Barrett. And Knock Knock Books. Okay. Very cute backs. Look at that, that shimmer of the gold foil. And let's get into some cuteness. <laughs> this reminds me of like uh, my like bedtime books when I was a kid, like that kind of that type of art and these type of colors, which also um, I love that they I like when people color the suits, you know, so uh, blue for cups and I think it's like yellow for swords, green for pentacles, orange for wands. Oh, poor little zebra. He's all fretting. <laughs> uh, Steph, if you're watching this, it's Sam. <laughs> or it could be my friend Steph, my Tuga. The short for she's my Tortuga. I'm her Gonza. I'm her Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I think that's why I got this deck is because it has the little otters for the, the lover's card. And like, I'm all about otters. So, I mean, if you don't like otters, there's something terribly wrong with you. And I probably don't want to know you. Okay. And our second to last deck. Uh, is one that I got from Japan, and this is a Hello Kitty uh, tarot deck, but it's, uh, again, I think it, I think this is Majors only. Yes, this is my Majors only deck. Cute backings, and 
uh, I got it from a nice couple in Japan and when they mailed it out to me they also sent me a little origami swan which I thought was so cute and a nice little note and a little saying in Japanese for me to like wish me well but how cute is this deck my goodness you guys are all gonna have to like go see the dentist and fill those cavities after this video <laughs> uh, okay um, I don't know if I can give you an author of this deck because like I said it's in Japanese but um, I'll show you the box anyway for those of you that uh, speak Japanese or read Japanese and one of our track coaches he's a he's our pole vault coach he actually reads Japanese he was over there for a while back in the day back in like the 70s or something like that and the last one is the creature teacher <laughs> and this is by Scott Alexander King this one's geared towards children but you know it's for everybody it's actually like kind of like the world here you got the snail and got the, kind of like the world on its back it's super adorable all these animals and their messages are also super adorable so cute so cute because that is what this group of decks is all about Hmm, I don't think you could ever make an eel look cute though. Hmm, they just look kind of creepy. Anyway, here we have the tawny frog mouth, and we even have a unicorn. Hmm, and I'm getting the garden spiders again in my yard. Hmm, <laughs> don't know how I feel about that. I swear they make their webs big enough to catch a person. I'm like, why are you doing that? And there you go. Okay, well, let me put this one away. All right, you guys, that was my grouping of decks for my cute decks. Again, if you have some more suggestions, I've written down the suggestions you guys left me before, but if you have any more suggestions of groups of decks you would like to see, I'd be more than happy to do, do that as long as I have decks that, you know, match the category that you're asking for. Um, and with these, I've done, like I said, um, most of the reviews of all these decks and you could find that in my deck review playlist. Um, but yeah, uh, that's it for me, spiritual homies. If you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that. Oh, ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And if you want to catch a reading from me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. Not only do I have a plethora of readings, but I also have my room and body sprays, my salves, which got us the rose salve, tends to be a lot of people's favorites. Uh, I also have my Boom Wally's World Oracle, which was community created and community funded. Um, I also have brand new to my shop, my uh, altar pendants. So I have my Travel Witch Altar Pendant uh, so that you can carry your practice wherever you go, close to your heart. And I also have my Ancestral Altar Pendants uh, slash Dia de los Muertos uh, so that you can honor your ancestors, honor the departed, um, and keep them close to your heart as well. So um, if you want to throw a little of my way, think about joining the KWT tribe over at patreon.com slash kittensweightsandtarot. Um, and if you want to sign up for my newsletter, which is absolutely free, um, and I only hit your inbox once a month, I don't send out like spammy stuff. It's like a once a month and then that's it. Um, but it has like witchy DIYs, arts and crafts DIYs, um, herbs that I'm using, crystals that I'm using, decks that I'm using, uh, YouTube channels that I'm watching. Um, but yeah, you know, if that interests you, go ahead and sign up. And uh, that's it for me, spiritual homies. I will catch you later. All right. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.